Oh, holy sh! Broke it off inside. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. I compare this sled to like a couple of 600s. So, what are we doing today, Jamie? Good caribou check. So what does that entail? Go up Groundhog and look for caribou tracks. If there's caribou in the area, we shut it down for the week. That way we get to keep the zone. Okay, off we go. So today we're doing caribou checks, as Jamie was saying. We're not only gonna do caribou checks today, we're gonna do some filming with the Arcticat 600s. So we got Jamie in the front, we got Jesse behind me. So today will be a good day to get some footage on those so we can show you guys what those sleds are like and what they're capable of. We'll go up around and we'll just follow the border around do the whole loop. Okay, so it snowed a bit. So we're just doing a perimeter check all the way around. How fast is this? Oh, that's terrible. I think Jesse's stuck maybe. Hey, copy. Hello, Jesse. Yeah, I'm done for the day. No. Oh no. Broke the ball joint on my upper A arm. On your brand new Arctic Cat, eh? Yeah. So we gotta turn around and find Jesse. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Broke it off inside though. What'd you hit? A tree. You hit oh, the yeah. tree. Oh. Just like a little bit with my seat. Really? Just a little bit, hey? Well, just a, you know, yeah. a touch. <laughs> just, I just hit it a little bit. I should hold, eh? I think so. You know what they say about knots, right? Can't tie knots, tie lots. The trick is is to not smoke trees. So you're saying I should have went around that tree? Yeah, I would have. Yeah, like there's this open space here that would have been ideal. Well, that should hold. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look good for the kitty cat. I'm stuck! Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty deep in here. Like, this is some of the deepest snow of this year. It's heavy though. There's usually a little hip right here. I'm gonna go track back it so we can see. There's a little hip right there. No, can't see anything. <laughs> We're gonna find some trees, I think. Well, the thing's got enough jam to do a downhill hop over. Yeah, height limiter strap at all. Oh, this is a good climb. It's hard to see definition. There we go. Okay, we'll see if the 600 can make it up there. Slab broke off right there. Yeah, I seen it crack there. Let's see how the 600 climbs up this. So he's got to go up through here. There's a ditch here, so he's got to get speed somehow on the tracks. Turn here and follow mine up. Oh, he's making her. That thing's pulling pretty good. That wasn't an easy pull. Okay, I'll see if I can make it up there now. Be nice if I could just turn around right here. There we go. That's where that downhill hop comes so handy. Come on. Woo! Where to next? So it pretty much came up from the bottom and been doing a loop around the boundary and we're here now and we're gonna keep going this way, right? So we're looking for tracks, any signs of caribou and then also look for tracks of sleds into the caribou closer. Just, you see people in there, you wanna tell them. If we don't and people just ride it all the time, They'll shut us down. We want to keep the riding zones open. I'll let you go first. Oh yeah. I already got my stuff in the day. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Yeah, the viz is just terrible. I didn't even see that drop off there. So what we're doing, we're just going around the boundary and we're playing at the same time. See if we can see any caribou tracks. I didn't know, but caribou live up to about 10 to 15 years and there's only 1,500 left in BC and they're in about 15 herds. So there's not that many of them. So when we do search and rescue calls in Groundhogs, yeah. nine out of 10 times, people get messed up on the side hill. They end up going down that chute and then they can't climb out. Oh, Jamie's midnight rescue. Yeah, you're lost. 
Oh no! You were close. I thought you were just gonna make it out. Jump test. This is pretty deep. Okay, we're gonna keep going along the boundary and playing at the same time. I think Jamie's been stuck twice today, which is pretty unheard of. He doesn't get stuck very often, and when he does, we always have the camera out. But that 600, I think this snow is just a bit, with it being heavy and that deep, it's, it's having a little lack of track power, but it's still getting around quite well. We'll see if the catalyst can make it up this. <laughs> good traction for downhill hops actually Let's see where Jamie is one of these days I'll set this thing up for play mode got the limiter strap like tightened right up yeah that would help get in the front end up quite a bit I compare this sled to like an XM800 for like climbability and stuff yeah but the chassis handles way better yeah I mean at the end of the day it is just a 600 which is pretty impressive itself <laughs> <laughs> holy sh that was a stump. Oh, it was a massive fracture. Dude, it broke the whole hill. Over a foot fracture, hey? Yeah, that's all the fresh snow on top. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. The whole thing cut right across. So yeah, this is a pretty big slide. Holy. Washed out right to here. Yeah, that's pretty big, eh? Crack, cracked really far. December 21st. So be careful out there, guys. Okay, on today's menu, just packed in. Or we need marshmallow sticks. What's gonna be the best for this? Something probably green. Oh, a little bit too quick. So we have chocolate on both sides. Holy, yeah. Mm, pretty good. Get to warm up. I love how we're cooking marshmallows on propane. That's really, that's really good. Those s'mores were delicious. Something about making them up here when it's cold and snowy, they just taste so much better. Well, it wasn't the longest day. I got out of here at noon, but it was still fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.